All right, Virgo, welcome to your weekly horoscope for February 15th through the 21st. My name is Athen. So we've got new beginnings this week. We've got the new moon taking place in your sixth house. We've got Venus transiting going into your seventh of relationships, which is really nice. And then we've got very nice aspects this week uh, regarding uh, Mercury, who recent, recently went direct and Saturn. So a, a subtle week because it's a new moon. The energies are, are low. They're going to start to build later on towards the weekend and into next week. Um, and there's easy aspects. And with Venus and Pisces, it is this sort of sensual flowing sort of week. Now, in regards to uh, Venus, she goes into Pisces on Sunday to join up with Mars. So right at the beginning here, there's this uh, newfound enjoyment of relationships. And this is a fantastic week for relationships, all kinds of partnerships, relationships, friends, family, spouse, whatever it is for you. Um, very passionate too because see Mars is already there and Venus is getting closer and closer to Mars and they're going to go exact on Saturday. So as the week unfolds there's this passion, this masculine feminine energy that's in you, you know the yin the yang with relationships and it's very driven, it's very passionate, it's very raw, it's very enjoyable. And so a fantastic week for that. And it's very spiritual too because your guys' seventh house is ruled by Pisces. So your relationships, you already enjoy that nice subtle energy with them. So it's going, it's not very energetic, you see. It's still a low energy week, but there's this underlying current, this electricity in your relationship. So that's fantastic. And I would definitely spend time with those relationships. I think you'll find that very enjoyable and very motivating. Now, on Tuesday, we have that uh, easy aspect with Mercury and Saturn, Saturn being the ruler of the location of where Mercury recently went direct. So last week and the previous couple weeks, you guys have been reflecting on your fifth house matters of your fun, your enjoyment, your passion, your creativity of life, your vital life force energy, the things that put a smile on your face. So whatever you learned about life in this sense, I feel like that's forming the foundation for this whole week. And this is the week to start applying it and moving forward with it. You've got that sextile from Saturn in your third house supporting you in regards to uh, this passion, this enjoyment of life. And so whatever you learned, a great week to put in that energy towards it. And it's an opportunity. It's an easy aspect. So again, we can choose or choose not to do it but you'll definitely benefit if you do. And perhaps it did have something to do with communications in some way. Saturn has been transiting your third house. You guys have been learning and getting disciplined with the way you're communicating, teaching, sharing information, learning, these types of things. Uh, maybe it's loosely connected to that, but whatever it is, put energy towards that fifth house. You'll find it very grounding, very long-term, and progressive in many ways. Now, like I said, on Wednesday, we got that new moon in that sixth house. <clears throat> so whatever it is that you are doing here with the fun, enjoyment, passion, vital life force energy stuff, hopefully this week, there's something new coming about in, re in regards to your routine and health. So maybe you're realizing that, you know, it's important to take care of your health or it, the routine needs to be reorganized or needs to be organized in general to facilitate this. So that's just an example, but whatever it is, reflect around Wednesday of what kind of new beginnings are shaping up here in your sixth house. And so as the weekend approaches, and then especially next week, once the energy starts to build and gain momentum, you'll have a much clearer understanding of what exactly you want to create here in regards to this lunar cycle and the next six months in regards to your routine and health. <clears throat> so it's a week of a uh, subtle week, and but it's also a week of electricity and passion. So you want to uh, put energy towards it. You want to treat it as an experiment. Just mess around with the sixth house stuff. Maybe try something new with the diet or with the routine or whatever. And that's going to help you form that foundation for the upcoming month and six months. Yeah, and listen to that intuition and guidance too because the new moon is a very intuitive time. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that is it with the major aspects of the week. We do have that conjunction between Venus and Mars over the weekend in that seventh house. So, I mean, 
it's just a great weekend for relationships in general. There's just this drive. And if you've been driven to do something in regards to relationships, like if you're single and you've recently been driven to like seek, you know, uh, more relationships or a partner or manifest a partner or something like this, this is a great weekend and a whole week really to put energy towards these types of things. Or if it's with existing relationships, putting that energy to enjoy it and to have that spiritual connection between you and the other. All right, Virgo. Well, thanks again for all of your support. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.